Hi, this is Ray Greylack, and I'm going to show you how to use APCC Pro with uh, Sequence Generator Pro using its uh, Plate Solve 2 Plate Solver. So right now I have uh, APCC Pro set up here. I'm going to start up Sequence Generator Pro. I'm using 3.1.0.449. Of sequence generator pro and um, in APCC I'm using 1.7.1.5 first under tools check your equipment profile manager I have s big test as my default profile here have that checked I know that the image scale of my camera and my telescope it has about 1.73 arc seconds per pixel, and I've set that up here. I've set an S-Big camera. Um, it's an STF8300. I don't have any filters. I don't have a focuser. My telescope is set up to be the Astrophysics GTO V2 mount. Plate Solve 2 um, settings here. I have uh, UCA C3 set up as the default, although you can use APM. And I think that's about it. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this out. And here I'm going to close this out and show you that I'm going to create a new sequence. And it defaults to my profile here. So I have S big camera and the astrophysics go to V2 mount. And I'm going to connect to both right now. So camera connect to my S big camera then to the mount. Okay. So let me minimize this for now. And I'm going to bring up APPM. Connect to the mount. Also, I'm going to check on my plate solve settings here that I have set to Sequence Generator Pro. I already know my image scale approximately is 1.73 arc seconds per pixel, so it's set up there. And um, I'm also going to use the FITS header for RA deck and image scale. I just have a minimal set of points here defined, 31 points. In fact, I'm going to make it even less. And I'm not even sure I'll do all those points here. So to show points here, this is what I'm going to do. But before I do that, I'm going to go to the main tab here and try to do a plate solve after I connect. So I'm connected here. And I'm going to do a plate solve. So right now the Sequence Generator Pro is uh, generating the image. And hopefully it will appear in the background. It did. And now you'll see that the plate solver is going in the background. Plate solve 2. It found a RA deck coordinate. And it's um, going as soon as it exits then it comes back here. So it did have a, a successful plate solve. So let me try again here with uh, plate solve and recal. So I'm going to click there. Again, it's taking another image. So now it's again found a match. Now it's doing the plate solve. Well, actually, it's going to count down here. And that's when it's actually going to return. And again, successful. So this shows that you can use plate solve and plate solve and recal on SG Pro with plate solve 2. So if there is a problem with another camera, it might be that the camera driver or something in a sequence generator pro is not working right, but it seems to operate correctly in that scenario. Now let me try to do a plate solve run. So I'm going to start here. It's going to click OK. Now I may speed this up in, um, in post so it, it goes faster. Anyway, it's going to the first coordinate, which is a few degrees away from the zenith. And at this point, it's going to take an image. Let's see if I can move things around here. Okay, again, it appeared that it took the image. It found a solution. And it's going to report the numbers here in a second. So it did, okay, it does this one more time. 
go through the whole process there just to make sure that it's right on the money. Then it'll start following up with the other data points. Okay, again, solved, okay. So once again, this shows that when doing the regular plate solves that SG Pro does work with plate solve too. You just need to make sure your settings are correct. If it's not, double check your settings, especially the image scale on the camera. And if it isn't working correctly, then there may be something uh, wrong inside of Sequence Generator Pro with the, either the way it saves the images, because uh, some of you have reported 32-bit floating images, and uh, PlateSoft 2 does not support 32-bit floating images. And uh, it appears to take the images, and it uh, is able to solve you know, regular images in the sky. So if you are having problems with plate solve 2, check your settings. It's not APPM, it's not APCC Pro, it's something that's maybe in your settings. I hope this helps.